The Gerald Ford party consists of the Dream Team. We got the leader, Gerald Ford, the 38th president of the United States, who is known for not actually getting elected and also pardoning Nixon. We got Gerald Ford Jr., also known as Nelson Rockefeller, the vice president, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And we got Gerald's bookkeeper, James R. Schlesinger. And I don't actually know how to pronounce his name, but at least he's here. Hello guys, it's Jackson here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing on a game called Respublica, which is a political simulator. And we're going to be playing in the UK as Rockefeller. And I'm joined by Kitty Team, who is going to be playing Gerald Ford. Okay, we got our account set up. <laughs> yeah, Nelson Rockefeller. We're in the UK, which is it the US. Yeah, I, so... I just... I sent you four hundred thousand dollars to. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be rich. Yeah. And we're in Essex. I mean, that's not actually a lot. Currently independent, but I think I'm gonna join Mr. Gerald You're Ford's party. Of course, I'm his vice president. Gerald Ford party. Yeah. We've come back from the dead, moved to the UK, and are now <laughs> working in the government yeah. in the UK. Look, Jackson's viewers, come on, join this game and help Gerald Ford. <laughs> Yes, we have to help Gerald Ford take over the we world. We need Gerald Ford to take over Britain. That's our goal. So our goal was set. We were going to become the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Well, specifically have Gerald Ford become the Prime Minister. And then, I don't know, I would just be a, still do whatever. And yeah, that, that's where we got started. We go to parties. What? You're at the very bottom? Yeah, but we, we'll get up there, Jackson. We'll climb the ranks. Oh gosh, there's a lot of parties. Yeah, the the good. the Gerald Ford party. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you're oh, not no, the lowest party cool. anymore. And so now that I was in the party, I could travel to the region Essex and hopefully win the first election. I, I'm well, not too worried about your that. Your opponent is John, Jonathan Hamill. My opponent is Jonathan Tanner. <laughs> They're both named Jonathan. We're gonna take the seats from the Jonathans. Yes. Pay money. And then we're gonna need the, we're gonna need a. You're gonna need to spend like all of your money basically into advertising so you can get your state influence up. Uh, five thousand for advertising. Well, you can pull that up. Like, put in. You should be able to do it twenty-two times, I believe. Which will take you to um twenty-two percent state influence. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm going up. We got <laughs> twenty percent state influence right now. If you played the game some, you would know that 20% state influence is barely anything. You need to basically get 100% if you want any chance of winning an election. So we have a long way to go. We're going to need to make a lot more money, which you just earn by the hour, by the way. But we have our good friend Kitty Team here who is paying me this whole time. And hopefully before the election, I'll be able to hit 100%. Okay, I'm going to... I think. I chose my pro picture. <laughs> this picture Nelson Rockefeller, but like upside down. Oh, Description. Man, I am the best at being a vice president to a vice president. There we go. I advertised some more and I was able to reach about 40% state influence, which is still pretty bad, but I was actually pretty close to winning the election already because the Gerald Ford party already had a big lead in Essex when it comes to the region entire, like in itself. So. I only had to increase my influence a little bit more, but of course I would go for 100%. Okay, we're gonna spend all of our money on advertising. Trust me, th this works in real life too. The more money you spend on advertising, you, you're obviously gonna win the election no matter what. I mean, don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> so we got we got 60.5% state influence here. Up oh, 62.5. I I messed up. So now we should hopefully be winning the election right now in the lead okay we are so close 27.04 percent and this guy's 27.49 percent we're, we're very the, close the dreams come on jackson we're gonna yep. win gerald ford has some extra money mr gerald ford how much uh, you need how much you need yeah i'll figure that out in a second but you might actually need to spend more money too if the no, my 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 thing's already at max, so the only thing I could do is oh. increase the regional influence. Okay, so only if the Women's Equality Party increases their regional influence will we have a problem. 
Okay, so if we look at our party influence on this map of the UK, we have like all these normal parties, like the Conservative Party, the Scottish National Party, the we got the Democratic Equality Party. Yeah, and then the Democratic Socialist Party, and then we go down here to Essex, <laughs> and it's the Gerald Ford Party. Everywhere else has like a normal party, and is Ireland is that party a normal party? I mean, yeah, that's, that's not the English. Party. Okay. So Ireland has the, the right party. <laughs> Every place has like a, a party that exists in the real world that's just like a normal party. And we have the Gerald Ford party. It, it's just great. Hey guys, look at this. I'm winning the election right now. And it's in 40 hours. So hopefully this guy doesn't like somehow become really powerful or something. I don't know, we'll see. So Charles and I have Essex in the bag. Essex won't even be a problem. We're gonna get both seats there. But now we have to expand our party. I mean, it's just us two right now, so we're going to have to go on a recruiting spree. So Kitty Team, who is Charles, by the way, if you were wondering, he has some friends who already played the game. And so he contacted people in the discords and we got a few people to join the party. So we're going to try to expand to different regions. Things are going pretty good for the Gerald Ford party here. We've got some new members. We got Bentley Crankshaw. We got Cassius McInnes. We got Tefik Metrovic and James R. Schlechlinger. <laughs> yeah, we, we got some new members at our party here. And everyone's running in elections, but there's a good chance that none of them will win but Gerald Ford and Nelson Rockefeller. Now that we have all the new members, we have to set up where everyone's going to be, and we decided to make an ex a spreadsheet for that. I mean, it just works. So we made a spreadsheet that has all the statistics, all the numbers, and shows us which sheets are possible to win. And so there's the spreadsheet, and hopefully we'll be able to win some. The green means we're, we're winning, yellow possible, red means we're probably not going to win it. Nine hours before the election, and we got Gerald Ford. Uh, winning his polls by about 0.9% so okay I guess and we got me who's Nelson Rockefeller uh, winning by about 4% which is obviously better than 1% so hopefully we win both the seats we'll see in nine hours so while me and Charles are winning with nine hours left no one else is and we're not even really close so there's probably no chance of anyone else winning but we should be able to get at least two seats and two seats is pretty good because, I mean, that's better than most parties in the game already, just having a seat in general. But yeah, with two seats and multiple seats that are pretty close to being able to win, hopefully we'll be able to win those next time. And then we'll be able to grow our influence even more. And that just gets us even closer to becoming the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. So with the election ending shortly, we can only hope that no one else has tens of millions of dollars that they can just put into Essex because those are where our only two seats are going to be. So hopefully we can win. And I mean, we're going to find out soon enough. Uh, good news, guys. We won. But Gerald Ford and Nelson Rockefeller are now in the parliament for Essex. You know, just your everyday stuff. Now that our first election is over, we have two seats out of the total, like, I don't actually know how many seats there are. There, there's plenty though, maybe 70. I, I don't know, maybe 100. I'm sorry guys, I'm from the US and I have no idea how the politics work in England. But two isn't half bad. I mean, I would have preferred if we won some of the other places, but it doesn't matter because we can win the next time. Now we can start voting on some laws. So I just found out that in the game, there's actually only two seats per region. So it's a lot less than in real life. So the number doesn't actually really matter that much. Well, I just want to say that I had a lot of fun playing Respublica, and if you guys want to help us out, you should come on to the game, uh, the link to, you know, just play it. It's online, so you can just go on Google and search it, and then you can come on there, join our party, give us some money, you know, help us out a little bit, and we might be able to take over the nation if you guys help. So, yeah, if you guys want to help us out, make sure you, you join the Gerald Ford party. I'm planning on making another part to this because, I mean, obviously we, we're not the Prime Minister yet. Jared Ford isn't the Prime Minister, and I'm going to have to keep making these until Jared Ford's the Prime Minister. I'm thinking maybe I'll make two more, maybe just one more. It depends on how long it takes us, and hopefully we are actually able to do it because if we're not able to do it, this whole series was for nothing, and that would be so depressing. Oh, and by the way, this is just a few days after the election, and I have 100% state influence. I got... You know, a few million dollars, and we got a couple of members of the party 
and we're expanding our territory. Hopefully we'll be able to win a lot more seats than the next election, which is in a few days. And so check out the next video when it comes out. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.